What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a blitz that was actually ran against me in a Madden Ultimate Team game and then I went into practice mode and lapped it up and I'm going to share it with you today uh, because it's a really good blitz, I think a couple of other YouTubers have already been talking about it but I wanted to share uh, kind of my take on it and just give it to my community. So uh, this is Dime 146, guys. You remember Madden 20, this is one of the best defenses in the game and it's back again this year. So um, for those of you that are new to my channel, what I want to encourage you to do, again, my name is Cody. I post four times a day on YouTube, tips and tricks videos to help you get better at Madden. I also have um, a defensive ebook, offensive ebook. You can pick those up in the description. And I also have a uh, Discord, which is a server, which is dedicated to building my community, to allowing my community to not only talk with me, but to talk with one another. And so, um, if that is something you're interested in, I would love for you to join. Uh, the link to that is in the description. And if you really want to take your game to the next level, to me, that's the first step on not only subscribing, but jumping into that Discord, getting her surrounded with a better community. All right, so dime one four six. Basically, what you're going to do, uh, go into your coaching adjustments. You want to turn auto flip off. You don't want to have baseline on. Um, you can have baseline on, but personally, I like it. I think it works a little bit better with baseline off. And all you're going to do is you're going to come out on the play cover two sync. Now, make sure you sub in uh, your dime one four six personnel. Right, you want to have safeties everywhere. You want to have your best pass rushers. You know, so this is basically the the, the standard dime one four six setup. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in the play cover two seat. And with the snap of the ball, all we're going to do is we are going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press our coverage. We're going to QB contain rush. And then we're going to slide him in right off the, so that he is basically touching this, uh, this, this guy right here. From there, all you're going to do is you're going to take Chung and you're gonna move him in between the tackle and the guard, man him up on the running back, and at the snap of the ball, you are going to do a quick jab into this zone right here, and then you're going to jump out, okay? So snap the ball, jab, jump out, and you see the pressure's gonna come right in off that left edge. Now, um, this pressure does work against block running backs uh, because you are manning him up on the running back. So again, same setup, spread your D-line, or pinch your D-line, I'm sorry, pinch your D-line, Press coverage, quarterback contain rush, slide Jones off of the edge here, right like that. And then I like to use our Chung, man him up on the running back, move him in between the guard and the tackle. And at the snap of the ball, all you're going to do is you're going to run down with Chung, and then you're going to come out of it into a slot, uh, slot corner type of setup. Snap of the ball, here, down back around and there you see that's how we did get blicked up picked up guys um, this blitz works better in head-to-head -head than it does in practice mode I do want you to understand that um, I also am gonna be clear that it really is all about where you can get this placement of Jones here make sure you get that right placement proper placement it's really really easy to screw up uh, I feel like when I've been running this so far uh, one of the things that I struggle with is getting him just a little bit too close to the line uh, but here snap of the ball and we're going to see this pressure almost comes in here. Well, when that tackle picks him up, typically it means you didn't get him in the right position on that side. So again, press, pinch the line, keep a contain rush. And you just want to bring him in very, very um, almost mechanically here, right? You just want to get him right in here off the edge. Snap the ball. And you see uh, you're going to screen. So this pressure, like I said, it does work better in head-to-head -head than it works in um, than it works in this mode right here. But you basically want these guys to be holding hands, and then you want to use your chung. And right now the game is just not cooperating with us. Like I said, guys, in head-to-head -head, this is so much better than. That's why I typically show these games in uh, play now mode. Or show these blitzes and play now mode, but this is a very simple blitz, right? I mean, this is basically the same as it was last year. Um, you know, everybody ran down 146 last year, ran it well. This year, because of how good man coverage was, a lot of people are still running down 146, but now you got pressure from it, right? And and really, really good pressure. Only sending in three people. So, uh, Dime 146 really, truly is probably one of the best defenses in Madden history. Um, 
show this to you right here. Snap the ball. And there you see the pressure fly in. I did get the placement right now after about 15 times, but I did get the placement right. So now what they're gonna do is they're gonna block the running back. Well, when they block the running back, what you can do What you can do with your user is you can, um, oops, what am I doing here? Let's, let's get rid of this ball here. But what you can do with your user, and this has been a theory uh, for years of Madden, um, specifically the last couple of years, I think it's been a little bit more popular. But basically, you're going to man your user up on the uh, on the running back. You're gonna stand, you know, about three to five yards off. Snap the ball, the running back's gonna look at you and he's not gonna block the defensive back. So, again, guys, very simple concept, very good blitzing concept. Like I said, I think a, little, a couple other YouTubers uh, have posted this. But, uh, so again, I didn't originate with this blitz. This is a blitz from last year. This is just a better way to do it, or the, this is how you do it this year. Um, it's been around for years in Madden, so that's time 146. That's uh, cover two sync, guys. So, uh, real quick, I didn't show you the max uh, coverage setup under this. Or not max coverage, but the max uh, passive pressure. So base line, spread your line, or pinch your line. I like to pinch my line. Keep it contained rush. You're gonna slide Jones off. Right here, so they're holding hands. Then right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop this guy into either a quarterback spy or a bluff blitz. I like the bluff blitz personally. And then I like to drop Dietrich Wise into his own. So you can drop all these guys off. It's, they're not necessarily required for the pressure. Sometimes the pressure actually works a little bit better without them. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, you're still gonna get that pressure. I was all about the, it's, it's, it's truly all about the placement of that, that corner. You'll see right here, so I'm just gonna slide this in. here and I got the placement wrong that's how you know you get the placement wrong <laughs> um, when you're practicing this blitz now again like I said it does work better in head to head it's a lot it's a lot more um, it's a lot more forgiving in head to head in my opinion than it is in uh, practice mode let's just see here step of the ball Pressure's, pressure's wanting to come in, but not quite here on this. I did want to show you that you can get the pressure in uh, by doing a max uh, zone out. I'm gonna try something else with our uh, user player. And sometimes it actually works better if you're a little bit wider with your user um, than, than right over that guard tackle because they, really what we're trying to do is we're trying to glitch the tackle out. The guard's not going to get out there. He's just He doesn't have enough space or doesn't have enough time because of how fast this blitz is going to come. So again, you want to kind of line him up right in here. And again, get yourself kind of right there wide. And then we'll uh, zone off those guys so you see only two people blitzing. Snap of the ball, and we're just getting, we're just almost barely getting it um, picked up here. But again, guys, this is, like I said, this is very, very forgiving in game. It's not as forgiving uh, in practice mode right now. You really do have to kind of get that placement perfect from what I've been seeing. Let's just see here, snap of the ball. Uh, dang it. Almost get it in there. But it really is all about the placement of that corner. Um, 
probably should just jump out and show you in a game mode, but literally, you'll see me running on my stream if you do. I stream every night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time on my YouTube channel right here. You can watch me play, but that blitz will come in, I promise you. Um, I'm not the only one that's broken this blitz down, so you can go on YouTube and you can find other, other players running this. Um, they're not doing anything different than I am. Uh, personally, I think pinching the line does do a little bit better, but... Um, I've spread, I've pinched, you know, it's it's all about the same. But as you can see right here, the pressure is going to scream. And you know, if if you don't want to send, if you don't want to send the two man, I personally like to send the two man uh, with this because even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't come in, you know, you're going to be fine. But I I really like to spy um, and drop a purple. Uh, and what you'll see is you'll see that pressure will come in. Um, but if it's not coming in for you consistently in game, uh, then what I would do is just take your uh, left of screen guy, you can throw him into a QE spy, and that's going to keep the blitz very, very consistent uh, off that left edge there. But again, it's truly all about the placement of that slot DB. So, <laughs> practice mode is very unforgiving with me tonight, but... Um, this is the blitz guys this is the blitz this is the blitz everybody's going to be talking about you'll see this all over the place on youtube shortly but it's the best blitz in the game right now so be sure to run it i mean gosh if you're already running down one four six it's really good now it's not going to work the same from dollar it's not going to work the same from dime two three six so you might want to consider shifting your playbooks to miami or to uh some of the other better uh one four six playbooks in the game but anyways guys my name is cody signing off here there's going to be some videos that are going to pop up that are some other tips and tricks. There's going to be a video that I'm going to do on how to pick up this blitz as well. Uh, and that's going to be coming uh, right after this one. So Dime 146 Pressure, fun stuff for you. And make sure to come by my stream, guys. My stream is every night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. We actually lab this blitz up live on the stream tonight. And uh, really got some good uh, coaching from one of my mans, Captain Rob, from our Discord. And that's what, the, what's, that's what the Discord's about, right? It's community people coming together to help each other get better at a game we all love, which is Madden Football. So we'll see you on the Discord. Be sure to jump by the stream. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some of these videos on the screen.